Hi everyone, so this video is actually going to be a review on the Eyes Lips Face 144 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. I know that some of you are going to be like, what? Like, she's now doing a review for that palette? And yes, I am. I know that this is a palette that has been out for a very long time. And honestly, I myself have had it for quite some time. I've had it for probably like about a year a year and a half now somewhere around there I think it's yeah probably a year and um so I just really wanted to come in here and do a review because I think that I've been using it so long that I can I know everything about it right now um I bought this palette from the eyes lips face website I bought it directly from the website and I think that that is a point that I need to make because there are a lot of people selling e.l.f. products in Trinidad, but I did not buy it in Trinidad. I bought it off of the e.l.f. website. And why I'm telling you this is because I have bought e.l.f. products from people in Trinidad, and um, I had one not-so-good experience that um, when I got the products, um, that when I bought products from... Um, the person in Trinidad I actually ordered my elf stuff online around the same time and so I got the products from the person and then two weeks after I got the products that I bought from the website and I realized that some of the products that I um, bought from the person they were dried out and it really wasn't a good quality so um, I'm just saying that so that you know that when I bought this item off of the website I bought it straight from them so it was the best quality that it could have been since I bought it directly from e.l.f. So it has nothing to do with buying it from someone down here and they probably had it for a long time and you know the product went bad or whatever. So, um, The next thing is that this is a palette here. This is what it looks like. Right? So this is the 144 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Um, at the time I bought it for $10, it was on sale. Elf usually, well, I don't know if they usually have it, but the price that they have for this palette is $30. I really can't see if it was ever that price, but um, all the times that I've seen it, it was either $15 or $10. I believe that right now, if you go on the Elf website, you will be able to get this palette for $10 right now. Um, so I paid ten dollars for it and it came and um well my first impression of it when I saw it it was it was very colorful, very pretty, so that was okay. I knew what I was getting. It looked exactly like the pictures on the website. Now what I have to say about this palette is that um I don't really like the packaging, like the plastic see through plastic casing I don't really like that um, but that's just me I don't like stuff like that I prefer when the um, casing is you know like all black it looks sleek it looks really nice and this bottle looks like if it were to fall that this cover will just come off very easily mine has never fallen I don't know of anyone who has had that problem but that's just one of my concerns so I didn't really like the plastic um, and if you look at my own like really closely because it's plastic it has a lot of scratches and stuff on it because of when I had to pack up my room and to do the extension and stuff like that so you're gonna see some scratches on there I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it looks kind of not so appealing right now so that's one of the other things that I had with the casing it's a really big palette and it's kind of cumbersome because it's like when you're trying to open it it's like you know like all of that and I remember trying to do some tutorials for you guys and I was like oh my god like I really uh, had a hard time maneuvering with this to pick it up to show you guys what color I was going to be using and stuff so that's the other thing maybe it could have been something that was like one on top of the other but um I kind of like how it's big but I kind of don't like how it's big so that is why before I even start my in-depth review on this, I'm going to tell you guys, for this palette, I have a love-hate relationship with this palette. There are things that I love about it, and then there are things that I absolutely hate about it. It's like, I can't seem to find a middle ground. So, I'm going to go through everything with you, and then maybe at the end of this video, I will be able to say, well, okay, this is how I really feel about it. 
so my first impression all the colors I was so excited to get such a big variety of colors because certain colors that I've been trying to look for um, over the past few years while building my collection I just hadn't seemed to be able to find elsewhere and so the colors that I was really excited about getting were this yellow absolutely love this yellow when I first saw it and this red here because I've always been trying to search for yellow eyeshadows, red eyeshadows. And um, after using the palette, um, some of the things that, you know, I kind of noticed were that a lot of the colors were duplicated. Or at least to me, it seems like a lot of the colors are duplicated, just placed in different um, sections. Like, for example, these three purples here look exactly the same to me. This purple, this purple, and this purple. They look like it's the exact same color. Um, I'm also seeing that with some of the browns, like this brown here to the end, this brown, this brown, and this brown. They look exactly the same thing. And um, I'm sure if I like really look at some of the other colors, I'm going to see that as well. And um, yeah, so that was one of the things that was kind of disappointing to know that some of the colors were just flat out duplicated or at least that's how it seemed like to me and um, I really would like to see a big like difference like if you're gonna give me 144 colors give me 144 great colors like I can understand if you're gonna duplicate like one or two like if you want to duplicate a black or even a brown I can let that slide because those are colors that we use a lot especially to cut your crease and stuff like that but other than that like kind of mix it up a little bit so what I love about the palette is how they sectioned it out. So you had your um, your lighter colors, your yellows, your green, your blues, your reds and pinks, and um, your gray scale, right? So I really like that about the palette. Like they sectioned out everything. Um, so that was really cool. And um, I like how it's a mixture of shimmery and matte colors. It's not just all matte, it's not just all shimmery. It's a nice mixture and um, some of the colors you would see that you have a matte color set and then you have the shimmery version set. So that was nice as well. When using this palette, the biggest problem that I had with it, the thing that I absolutely did not like about it is that a lot of the colors that I was kind of gravitated towards just wasn't giving me the color payoff that I hoped it would. Um, a lot of the matte colors came across very chalky and um, a lot of the shimmery ones seem to crumble as you use them over time. Like for example, this yellow one that I showed you guys here that I thought I would absolutely love. When I started to use it, do a swatch for you, that's, that's how it comes out. And I know that it probably looks kind of pigmented on the camera but trust me that's the glare. It's not like that at all. I just think it's very sheer, it's very see-through and um, even using it with primer, even using it with else primer, it just, I I don't know, I just couldn't seem to make it pop so I was kind of disappointed and there were a lot of colors that were like that, it's just chalky and um, kind of, you see how it's coming out, it's just chalky and kind of um, transparent and it's really hard to build on it so um, a lot of the colors are like that so let me show you some of the colors that I tried that were like that um, these yellows were like that the greens are like that that's in green um, these lighter blues are like that this one this one this one are like that these two these four colors so you top here one two three four they are very chalky um, and no color payoff whatsoever um, this one, no color payoff. These two, no color payoff. This one, um, this one works when it wants to. <laughs> this orange right here, it works when it wants to because there are times when I've gotten it to give me a really nice look, a really nice color, and then other, time, other times it's just like, it's just not working. And it's not to say that I'm switching primers on these um, products because once I started using a primer that I saw was going great with this palette, I kind of stuck to it and that's it and the primer that I was using was the clean color um, matte eyeshadow primer I do have a review for that so I would link that down below I also have a review for the elf primer which just did not work for me I'll put the link below for that as well 
um, some of the colors that I absolutely love in this palette uh, this color I love this color right here this is like a shimmery orange oh, but as you can see it's breaking up and that's what's happening with a lot of these shimmery colors like it's just really breaking up so this orange here absolutely love that I love this color to actually use on the inner part of my eye I find it looks really great in that area um, I love this blue here it's kind of like a turquoise blue down here the second blue from the bottom this is another shimmery one. This one has great color payoff. As you can see, that is just super pigmented. And this kind of um, reminds me of Helena Rustique's blue pigment. I believe it's ocean or something like that. It has something to do with the sea. But this reminds me of that pigment from Helena Rustique. So you see how pigmented that is. Um, another one that I really like, I love this bronzy gold one up here this is another shimmery color see sorry not flipping you off and that's what that's like um a color that I absolutely love for my highlight area is which one I just used it this one this one as you can see I've used this brown a lot I use this to actually cut my crease this brown right here and um this one yes this one here I love this one as a highlight color for my skin complexion the blacks I don't really like the matte blacks but I do like the shimmery black right here it's the second black from the bottom it gives you some nice you know like a nice color and so um this is my eyes done with colors from the eyes lips face as you can see, I'm really breaking out on my forehead because it's that time of month, so please excuse that. You would have seen on my face was breaking out for like the past week and a half, two weeks, so that's why. But um, I am going to try to keep this short, so I'm going to try to cut off now. Um, that is just my review on the Eyes Lips Face palette. Um, a lot of the colors, let me see, how could I put it? There are 144 colors in this palette and there are probably only 12 colors that I absolutely love. 12 colors that I think, you know, give me great color payoff, great lasting. And the other colors, they're kind of hit. This is a big hit on this palette as in a lot of the colors are misses and a few of the colors are hits like the colors that they got right they got them really 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 right and all the other colors total waste so this palette for 10 us um it was okay i probably think it's worth a little less than that i mean 144 colors yeah it's a good price but the quality of the products it leaves a lot to be desired and um, I know that the Eyes Lips Face Palette sells down here for probably like $100, I think $150, um, $100 to $150. I personally will not spend the money on that. I will not repurchase this palette when I'm done with it. I'm not going to, you know, repurchase it because a lot of these colors you can get elsewhere. As I said, Helena Rustic has some colors that are very similar to the ones that I like in this palette and so I could... You know be good with that but um if you are now starting out if you live in the states and you have ten dollars yes go ahead buy the palette it would be a great practice for you but to spend 150 tt on it not so much i i don't think that i would recommend this in that way so that is my review on the eyes lips face palette and i would just like to say that i do not regret buying this palette because there was a lot of fuss around it and i really like the fact that i got to see and use it for myself so that was great i don't regret it it's not on my items that i regret buying at all but i hope that they can probably do some work on it and make it better because once the colors are great or at least once we have like 50% of the colors working well I think that it could be a great investment especially for beginners so thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon bye